To determine whether a water solution of Na2S2O3 at room temperature is supersaturated, one can. So here we need to know what supersaturated means. So here is a table of, uh, it's a solubility curve table, or graph I should say. And it shows what is the solubility or how many grams per 100 grams of water can dissolve of these particular compounds at given temperatures of water. And as you can see, for most of these, as temperature goes up, solubility increases. And that's a, a general trend for solid solutes that that would be the case. So what does supersaturated mean? Well, first we should determine what saturated means. So let's take the example of KCl. At 10 degrees, KCl is, uh, has a solubility of 30 grams per 100 grams of H2O. All right, so if I put in more than 30 grams into 100 grams of water, 30 of it will dissolve, but the rest will just settle at the bottom because we've hit that carrying capacity, right? So this is the level of saturated because at this point, can't fit any more. Now, with certain methods, uh, which pretty much meet, to get it super saturated, you can't just start from 10 and then just keep adding because it won't go. What you have to do is you heat it to say 20 Right, so here's 20, which maybe is at about you know 33 grams. You heat it to 20, and then you slowly cool it down to 10. And if you do it right, you do it carefully, and the other factors are in place, you'll actually have you know your 33 grams per hundred, even though you've cooled down to 10. But it's a very unstable situation, um, as you might expect. Right, you're above the carrying capacity. One little change can cause basically you've got your beaker here, super saturated. One little change can suddenly cause spontaneously all that extra stuff to pop out of solution and then settle down to the bottom. And that main thing that you can do is choice C, add a crystal. If you add one little crystal, solid crystal, to that supersaturated solution, suddenly, boom, the entire thing will just, all the extra dissolved solute will just pop out instantly, pretty much, and then settle down. And that would have showed you, if you, were, if you wanted to know if the solution was supersaturated, if you drop that crystal in and that happens, that tells you that it is saturated. Heat the solution to its boiling point. No, that will not tell us anything. Add water to the solution. Again, no, it won't tell us anything. In fact, it would help the super, it would kind of mask the supersaturatedness because you'd have more water available to dissolve. Acidify the solution, not relevant. Cool the solution to a freezing point. No, cooling would actually be potentially, um, would not, potentially not reveal anything necessarily. Um, so again, the best thing to do here is you add a crystal to the solution and that's going to cause it to spontaneously all the extra solute to pop out and to drop down to the bottom of the beaker. So that's the definition of supersaturated. Definitely want to know that and know this little factoid as well.